tonight. Ladies and gentlemen, it is our balloon! This is my very good friend, Tommy Spears. And we are, of course, Harpoon. Now, we're going to do some improv for you. All we're going to need to get started is one word from you. Can I get that word? Mm, now! Pain. 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 How fun. Right on the duck. Uh, uh, braces. Ooh, pain. Uh, your mother's maiden name. Also, her current name. A quarter of the audience uh, tonight. <laughs>
Okay. <laughs> Now, what's this great American novel you got? So, there was this boy. Like this. <laughs> <laughs> so far, so good. Yeah, 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 yeah. He set himself out on a journey. Is he signed in for a runaway? It's a Bill Dunn's rolling. <laughs> Hang on a second. Okay? I mean, I can, keep, I can keep talking. I can describe the book. But we can wait. Oh, oh, that's gonna sell well. What? I just looked up Billings Rome. Oh, it's a coming of age story. As the dictionary says. As the dictionary says. I'm not gonna wait another minute. I'll praise the dictionary. <laughs> oh, what we take them? I'm about to. You did it. Okay. You got the story inside you. I got the magic in my fingers. All right. <laughs> in a small town in Indiana. Well, like that. People <laughs> love the Middle West. Right. He's <laughs> got no chance. A lot about Indiana, so you can say it. And you know what, I just want to say that if there's 
one thing I'm very happy about is that I entered the American automobile industry, which will never die! <laughs> sure, that will never even struggle. American Steel being what it is. Thank you, Mr. Carnegie. Mm. <laughs> if there's one man who has the little person in his heart, it's Mr. Carnegie. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> now, what, what else can we do to fuck with these automobiles? All right. <laughs> Yes. 
just to confuse everybody. I would never. Never? <laughs> I must make a bell too. <laughs> Only a bell? Only a bell. Well, I would never. Oh. <laughs> well, then we shan't do what the other one. <laughs> I guess we each have our own niche. <laughs> Is that a French word? Yes, I've already begun. <laughs> I would like to use a built-in word in the bottle, but I do not know it. Unfortunately, in that country, they speak French. <laughs> but I do write this dictionary over here of French words. Oh, very good. Unfortunately, say, the I definitions are also in French. <laughs> I did not think before I bought this. <laughs> Why do you keep these? Sir, if I yes. may be so bold. It won't rinse me this. We've been at sea at times. Yes, some one in forty days. Indeed. <laughs> and we <laughs> have gotten oh, restless. Oh, yes. And there has been some talk of mutiny. What? Yes. <laughs> but from whom? From virtually everyone. <laughs> Should there be a mutiny? I have been elected to become the new captain through a fair democratic process of the very angry crew. But it's not personal. You would usurp my position. No, but I would allow it to be usurped and then and then and then And profit from it, yes. <laughs> what kind of a cowardly man are you? I think you know precisely what kind of cowardly man I am. Yes, we've been together one in forty days. <laughs> and that's this trip alone. Yes. Well, if you wish it, the position is yours. Right? Yes, that's right. I'm pulling a Frenchie on this one. <laughs> <laughs> you can have this damned crew. Because I'll tell you a secret right now. I've been drilling holes in the bottom of this boat. <laughs> Did you know the new team was coming? No, I'm just like that. <laughs> <laughs> you truly are the mad captain. Yes, now if you'll excuse me, I shall swim the rest of the way to Elba. <laughs> Fare you well, Smithers. May your cowardice lead you. Farewell. To he oh, I was done. <laughs> oh, sorry. Could you cue me in again? That's a problem. Just get me going and I'll get back into it. Well, yeah, you, you truly are the mad captain. Yes, I am. <laughs> mad enough to survive the War of 1812. <laughs> the war this currently is. <laughs> May your cowardice lead you to oh God! There goes both the bravest and stupidest man. <laughs> Don't mind me, just a clumsy ghost. Is that. is that the Dutchman? <laughs> Feel his slimy hand upon me. Oh! <laughs> now it's like a massage. <laughs> All right, well, this is pleasant. <laughs> Tell me, are you Dutch or Belgian, ghost? I'm a Belgian ghost. <laughs> <laughs> I might have expected as much as we are. <laughs> <laughs> 